Good morning everyone. I am Avni, your tech host and welcome to the daily tech news bulletin brought to you by IT Voice. In today's news, we will be covering news about Google updates incognito mode disclaimer, US Supreme Court rejects Apple's challenge, tech layoff surge in early 2024, open AI CEO Altman on AI's energy consumption, Apple's OLED iPad Pro is expected in 2024, YouTube's slow loading times linked to ad blockers, bank manager in India falls victim to online trading fraud. To skip to any particular news story, use the chapters below. And don't forget to subscribe to IT Voice and stay up to date on all the latest tech news. Google has resolved a $5 billion lawsuit related to Google Chrome's incognito mode. The disclaimer text incognito mode has been updated in Google Chrome Canary Build version. 122.0.6251.0. Users can now browse more privately, ensuring their activity remains unseen by others. However, downloads, bookmarks, and reading list items will still be safe. This update applies to Google Chrome across various platforms, including Android, Windows, and Mac. The lawsuit claimed Google mislead users, alleging tracking even when opting out, and the new text reflects the settlement. The US Supreme Court has declined to hear Apple's challenge to a lower court decision on the App Store release. The justices rejected the lengthy legal battle between Apple and Epic Games over App Store policies. Epic's appeal of the lower court's ruling, stating Apple's policies don't violate federal antitrust laws, was also turned away. While rejecting antitrust claims, the lower court directed Apple to allow links for alternative payment methods. The decision stands after the San Francisco-based 9th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals upheld much of the lower court's ruling. Apple's App Store policies faced scrutiny with the court balancing antitrust concerns against California's unfair competition law. Early 2024 witnesses a surge in tech layoffs with over 7,000 employees laid off in two weeks. Layoff.fyi reports 48 tech companies implementing layoffs affecting 7,528 employees globally. Layoffs extend beyond the U.S. impacting even small companies globally due to dynamic business changes. Romanian tech companies like Google, Netflix, and Spotify issue layoffs, anticipating increased use of AI. Google CEO Sundar Pichai highlights the industry's reliance on AI, forcing companies to make challenging decisions. The IMF warns of the broader impact of AI on global job security, affecting 60% of jobs in advanced economies and 40% in developing countries. Open AI CEO Sam Altman emphasizes the critical need of a breakthrough in energy for the future of AI. Altman predicts AI will consume more power than initially anticipated, necessitating climate-friendly energy sources. He advocates for energy solutions like nuclear fusion or cheaper solar power and storage. Altman personally invested $375 million in Helium Energy, a nuclear fusion company. Recognizing Microsoft's significant role, Altman urges increased investments in fusion for sustainable energy solutions. His call for breakthroughs aligns with addressing AI's potential environmental impact and increased power consumption. is set to launch OLED iPad Pros in the first half of 2024. Production of display panels for these models is expected to commence later this week. LG Display and Samsung Display are involved in creating TFT layers for the different sized models. The switch of OLED technology aims to enhance the overall user experience, although it may lead to increased cost. These new iPad Pro models, potentially replacing the M2-powered ones, are expected to hit the shelves in April. Reports suggest the starting price of these models could be around $1,500, marking a shift in iPad Pro technology. YouTube faces criticism for slow loading times experienced by users utilizing ad blockers. Contrary to accusations, YouTube denies responsibility, attributing the issue to bugs in ad blocks and ad block plus. YouTube clarifies that it its efforts to deter and blockers are not as aggressive as claimed. The issue is traced back to bugs in Adblocker 5.7p and Adblocker Plus 3.22 versions affecting YouTube's performance. YouTube underscores the importance of displaying ads for revenue generation and encouraging users to opt for the premium service. The introduction of a three-strike rule aims to 
prompt users to discontinue using ad blockers and support creators through ad generated revenue. Rishi Verma, an assistant bank manager in India, losses rupees 21 lakh to fraudsters in an online trading scam. The scam involved promises of VIP services and guaranteed profits through a Facebook group. Added to the group on December 1, 2023, the victim was lured into investing over a month. Complaint filed, FIR registered under IPC Section 420 and IT Act Section 63 against the scammers. Despite initial doubts raised by the victim's husband, scammers successfully tricked her into connecting her bank account. The incident serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the risk associated with online investment schemes and the importance of exercising caution on social media platforms. This is Avni signing off. Stay tuned and subscribe to IT Voice for all the latest techniques.